radio. That radio. First of all, I have to turn this guy on. Stand by. Okay, put it on altitude. Put it on altitude. Yeah, that's a new rule now. They want us on. on they want it all the way on altitude. Excuse me. Excuse me. Sorry about that. Okay. So our transponder is on altitude. Not on standby. And I have the radio for AS. Turn the radio on. Letter 2984. ILS runway 16 approaching use, landing in a parting on 16 and 24. Another chairman use caution, work in progress, close but clear of active runways and taxiways. Advise his contact, you have 8 as Alpha. Okay, what we need to wait a second. Skyway executive airport information, Alpha time 1352, Zulu weather observation. Wind 2803, visibility 10, sky clear. Temperature 20.14, altimeter 29 or 84. ILS runway 16 approaching use, landing and departing on 16 and 24. Notice chairman use caution, work in progress, close but clear of active runways and taxiways. Advise his contact, you have 8 as Alpha. One moment, I didn't catch the wind. I know it's Alpha 1352. Zulu executive airport information, Alpha time 1352, Zulu weather observation. Wind 2803, visibility 10, sky clear. Temperature 20.14, altimeter 2. Okay, we're fine. Four. I've got to get found. Six approaching use, landing and departing on race 16 and 24. Another chairman use caution, work in progress, close but clear of active runways and taxiways. Advisors contact, you have 8 as Alpha. I have my 8 as information, I'm ready to uh, contact Executive Brown. Uh, the executive ground is Cessna 6001 Golf at Area 2. Departure to the northwest is ADIS Information Alpha. Correct? Yep. Okay. First things first, though. Before takeoff. Cabin doors and windows are closed and lashed. Yes. Flight no, control. no, no, no. No? They're not, that's, you're the not pad. ready for takeoff yet. I'm sorry. That's, that's up at the cold shoreline. At the pad. Right. Yeah. My apologies. I'm going to contact the executive ground. Executive ground, Cessna 6001 Golf. At area 2, depart to the northwest with ADIS information alpha. Cessna 6001 Golf, executive ground, runway T4, taxi via Bravo. Did you give way to the inbound Cessna? Uh, taxi 24 via Bravo, 01 Golf. And executive ground, Cessna 747 Kilo Alpha, Scott Alpha, over at Hawthorne, reposition, hangar 56. Uh, 747 Kilo Alpha Executive Ground Taxi Alpha Cross Runway 30 Hold Short Runway 34 Kilo 5. Okay, we'll use Alpha uh, clear across 30 and we'll I'm going right. to head right. I'm going to head right. Kilo Alpha. Uh, then left around here to Bravo and then to Echo and then to Bravo. No. How am I going? I got to get to runway 24. Yeah. So, 24 is right there. All right.
Cabin doors and windows will close and latch. Flight controls, check movement. Down. Set 7 q Alpha, right on Lima, left to runway 24 to hangar 5. Okay, there's a sign. Here, right Lima, left to Butters two, working. hangar 5. Thanks, sir. q Alpha. Okay. Go ahead and turn set to take off position. You concur? Yep. Throttle at 1700. Instruments and suction gauge. You're moving, you're moving. The green magnetos, check difference. Left side only. What? Uh, okay, yeah, do the magnetos right, left. Right. Both. I haven't detected any change in the RPMs. Left, a little bit of a drop. Repeat, check for drop. Yes, it drops a bit. Um, ammeter check by splitting the master. Yes, it wiggled a little. Okay. Travel retard to idle. That's back 2000. Flight instruments set. Set set. Radio set to tower. Flight instruments, you just make sure that all these instruments are set, compass heading. Got it set. Yeah, it looks good. It uh, looks good. I see one that doesn't look good, and then it's one of the more important ones. This, I'm sorry, yes. Uh, yes. 294. 294. Sorry. You're correct. Your perimeter. Okay. That one you should set that when you get your ATIS. Okay. You really set that. Okay. Okay. Radius at the tower. Tower is 119.9. Set the tower. Fuel shut off. Confirm and down position. Yes. Mixture is fuel rich. Transponder is at 1200. Yes. Ending lights we don't need. Flaps are up for normal takeoff. Um, I won't take off. That's fine. Okay, so we're holding at uh, 24. I'm going to contact the Secretary Tower. Secretary Tower assessment 6001 Golf, holding short of 124, ready for departure. He'll give me instructions. You concur? Yep. All right. Executive Tower assessment 6001 Golf, holding short of 124, ready for departure. Assessment 6001 Golf, the Executive Tower, on course northwest, runway 24, clear for takeoff. Runway 24 is one golf. Set for takeoff. Set for takeoff. All right, let's go. Yep, gotta go, gotta you go. Got yeah, you got it. Once you call him, you better be ready. I'm ready. I am ready. Plants are up, car for stop, brakes apply. Throttle full open. Not full, uh, how are you going to put the full open right here? You're in the taxi with so. Right. All right, let's go. Echo the brakes. Brakes release. Thousand, you gotta line yourself up before you put the throttle. I'm gonna line up here. Go, go in here. Make that turn in here. But don't get too close. But okay, I'm making the turn. Oh. And then go around here. Right, let go, break. Right, let me show you. Ooh, 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 ooh. Let me show you. That'll get you right in the center. Got the plane. Okay. All right. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. You got, you're on the runway. Don't grab the checklist or nothing. You're already ready to go. And on the throttle, full power. Got the airspeed. Start pulling back. Straight out. Once you get to 11 
100, that's when you start going to start your first turn. Heading south uh, west. That's okay. You gotta wait till you're uh, 500 feet above the ground before you start any turns. Sending at 500 feet a minute. No. So we're gonna head towards Kemper, which means I gotta get around 3:30. That's it. Wait till you're 1,100 feet above the ground. Alright, now you're at 1100, you just take your turn now. What's Kempra? What up with you, should I target? Let's go to 2500. I don't know, um, making the hills contact, uh, by the, uh, frequency. I have it on my map. As soon as we level off and trim, I'll, uh, check that frequency. Alright. They say that, uh, haze is coming from smoke. Really? Yep, there's a fire up in Canada. And it's coming this way. Can't really imagine that. Kind of smells smoky. That white, that white bubble down there. What is that? That's where the airspace ends. Okay. So Delta's over here. Echoes on that side. Right there, 
I see it. That's like Zerg over there. Uh, Very convenient this camper to have a visible landmark there. Okay, so I think we're okay. We're sort of still holding steady at altitude. Heading towards camper. About 20, 2550 feet or so. Uh, looks like we're still ascending. I want to nose down just a little bit. Just a, yeah, okay, vertical speed at zero. Alright, I think we're okay. You can Charlie, Tango Charlie, contact Chicago departure. You concur? Yep. Okay, as soon as I get overhead, I can't remember, I'll change my heading to straight west. I'm trying to scan the skies, even with all this haze, I see nothing. And then the throttle. I take a good time now to check my, um, uh, good time now to check the, uh, Why would I want to add flaps? Because 
to get you it. That's the way slow flight is. Why not get it even lower? The, re the reason you're doing this is simulating your approach to land. Okay. This is the attitude and the, and the, and the power settings and everything that you got when you're coming into land. So you can recognize slow, how slow this plane gets on final, on a, on a base turn, okay. on a, in the pattern coming to land. Okay. So you're setting yourself up to like if you're landing and you're feeling the controls, you feel the controls are sluggish, you know. Yeah. It doesn't respond the way normally would if it's not full throttle. Okay. Now it wants to go back down so you keep it up like that. Now this, the practical test stand is that's plus or minus 100 feet. We already knew that. Yeah. Okay. Now how do you recover? How are you going to recover? You're going to lower the nose, you're going to add full power, and you're going to bring up the flaps. One at a time. Okay. Now you're going to turn the plane out, turn it down. Yeah, exactly. Turn it. Power for one for Tango Julius with you. Door 404 Tango Juliet Executive Tower. Uh, continue inbound. Runway 16, clear to land. Wind 280 at 5. Nose down, nose down. Clear to land, runway 16. Tango Juliet. Who wants to go up, sir? Keep filming it. Now, oh, okay. Yeah, a little bit more trim. A little bit more trim. I'm still trimming it. I don't know. Alright, now reduce the power to 2400. How's it feel now? Let's take a look and see. Okay. Alright. Um, I am trying to see if uh, I can stop like in the Hills Airport and I can't spot it. Okay, start getting your frequency now. I'll get yourself ready. Landing on runway 27. On okay. runway 26. And the ones that are coming out of the west, right? So we'll land on 26. So we're gonna go into the pad. Uh, we're gonna come in, and we're gonna come in on a 45 downwind, and, and then we're up to downwind base and final. So I gotta circle around. Yeah. You see where that tower is at? That white water tower? A little bubble over there. That one? Yes. Yeah, I see that one. Okay. Fly towards that. Traffic here, Captain 850 is 12 miles to the south. We'll be transitioning uh, the top of the airfield from 
southeast to northwest at 2,000 feet. Final light traffic. We have traffic in the area? Uh, that's southward or something. Like this, this frequency yeah. is monitored by different airports. Okay. Different airports got the same frequency. I see. I th there's one in Wisconsin that has the same frequency. Okay. I think there's one in Bolingbrook that has the same frequency. Okay. So you might, you got to listen to what they say. Visibility 8, temperature 2, 0 Celsius, altimeter 2, 9 or 8. That's and not here. Condensation altitude 3,400. That uh, water tower? We'll go past it. Past it, yes, of course. Now, I'm going to make the calls, okay? So you listen to see how, how I do them, okay? Thank you. We're about two miles uh, south.
and nose down. Put the wings level. Lincoln has traffic zero on golf on base for one with two six Lincoln has. Yes. 